Hello and welcome to another Scan and Cut Saturday. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to use Canvas Workspace um, installable version, the Windows installable version, to create um, a drawn design but this time uh, it will have both a positive and a negative version on it. So it looks very much like this. can be used as maybe a, a framed photo, sorry, framed picture or a frame, uh, sorry, a card. So let's get started. I'm in Canvas Workspace and this is the installable version. And I'm working with version two. Now I believe a Mac version was launched recently and that may still be on version one. So I hope that everything I'm gonna show you will still be relevant, but if it's not, this might be why. So you may need to hang on for the next update. So to begin, I will need a square. That's my starting point. And I will add a fill color just so I can see better what I'm doing. And I will then find something that I'm gonna maybe punch into the design. Now I've recently activated quite a few kits, so it's gonna take me a few moments to choose something. I really should have looked in advance, I guess. That would have been a sensible idea, wouldn't it? Let's go for something like this. Finally got there. Okay. So I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to roughly match it to the size of the square that I have there. So they can see it just about fits inside. In fact, I will make it just a little, little bit bigger. Now I'm going to go into my edit tools and use a line to center that and then down to my process overlap and I'm going to hmm, actually hang on one moment I'm going to first get into the node editing mode by double clicking my square selecting the top left corner and then deleting that point so that I end up with just a triangle. I'm going back to my selection mode with my arrow, selecting both the shapes, and then I'm going to use divide. This is gonna split the design up into various bits and pieces. So first of all, I'm gonna add the color back into this outside part. And then I'm going to add it to all of these inside parts as well. Now I need to get rid of this bit. As you can see, if I drag that out, that's the bit that was left when the flower was punched through the shape. And then I will need to get rid of no, I don't need to get rid of that part. I need to keep that part. Okay, so if I add color to that, this will make more sense. There we go, you see? So I've got the positive and the negative part of that. So I'm going to select all of that, right click and group. And then in my layers panel, I am going to select the top group, so that's this part here. Then I'm going to go over here and change from cut to draw. Now I will transfer it over to my machine. I will turn on the draw fill function and then draw this out. And here is a mock-up of what the design will look like when it's drawn out. You would choose the pattern in the settings area on your Scan and Cut machine. Of course, you can just use block colour, or indeed, your foiling kit perhaps. Anyway, that's just a few ideas for you. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, 
does make a huge difference to my viewing figures and of course subscribe to the channel for notifications of new videos and if you need any further help with your scan and cut machine just check out the rest of my videos here or my full scan and cut course over on udemy.com I will leave links in the notes below.